what I have been asked to do is to summarize uh, the different options that we have out here today over the next minute or two. And, and these are a range of options that we're really looking at from uh, community scale, pedestrian friendly uh, development of the Park East to uh, a block to two block sized uh, sporting venues. So let's go through it. But uh, starting with uh, Blair Williams, Blair Williams came out with a discussion of, of you know, we're a city of neighborhoods. You keep it city size, keep it the scale that what we have here for four stories or smaller, grow organically, encourage local tenancy, uh, and, and the idea here is to fight two bad pistons, one being employment or lack thereof, employment growth, and the other one being population growth. Uh, he chose the Park East as his site uh, and, and put forth a few ground rules on that, rescind the community, develop, community benefits um, uh, package and transfer the land from the county to, uh, to the city. Uh, and then rethink the development plan uh, to really connect on a, on a, on a east-west uh, a, a, a corridor through the middle of the site. Larger commercial development, incubator space with some uh, a cultural space. Um, the, uh, the next one was uh, Bob Monnet, and, and Bob uh, really looked to leverage some of the assets that we have downtown and, and, and maybe look at spillover effects of a, of a sporting venue and, and the, the assets that we have downtown are 2,200 hotel rooms. The assets are, are a mall that isn't doing well. The assets uh, include a series of parking structures that maybe need to be connected better. Um, in, in, in the way to do this might be to have a downtown active sports mecca, so to speak. And, and in some ways there are some, some precedents to this uh, in, in Indianapolis. There's also the Max Cook Center down in Chicago, which is similar. And if you look at what they're trying to do next to Lambeau Field, and they've, they've already uh, uh, gotten approval for TIFF, is to do something like this. So, so this isn't, um, this isn't a, is, as big of a dream as we might think. I'm not sure. Maybe Bob needs a bigger shower. Um, but anyway, uh, what, what he's really looking to tap here is the idea of the huge growth in year-round sports. Many different sports are now played year-round. Do we have the venues to do that here in, in Milwaukee? It'll create a downtown draw. It's a pretty big dollar, some that he's talking about, $320 million. Um, and so, and then uh, the last one uh, was, was done by G Gary Grunau, and, and he's got concerns over losing the bucks. Uh, and, and I think that's an appropriate concern to have. Uh, the lost revenue, the lost uh, a draw that we have from the, from the many different uh, visitors that we have due to the, uh, the Bucks in, the, in, in Marquette and other, other venues that, that use the, uh, the Bradley Center. Um, and the idea was build a new arena, um, uh, build the parking to support that, 80,000 square feet of, of column free space, which does allow us to use that arena for other, other venues as well, which is kind of, a, a kind of innovative uh, the same and make it more of a, a public asset than a, than a private asset. Uh, he had a flyer on, which the two others didn't have, so if that might influence your vote, go, go big, right? Um, the, 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 the difference maybe between what, what Bob was looking at and what Gary's looking at is Bob's is more of a, a, a viewer arena versus Bob's, which is more of an active sporting uh, event. Uh, again, please vote um, uh, today, and these results will be uh, forwarded in the, on November 12th, uh, biz time, and do vote next Tuesday as well. That's it. I'll hand it back to uh, Dan Meyer to close things up here.